Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My life is a journey and I love in it. There are so many things in life we have to face. Struggles, problems, works, financial, families, loved ones, name it, kids. But the good thing is, do we have to be stressed on those things? Or do we have to trust God in every way? Today is Sunday. We went to church and we have a good meeting. And it's kind of sad for me because one of my friend's mom's pass away. Her mom was in the Philippines. She been uh, suffering for COPD, cardio pulmonary obstruction disease. Well, her disease is no cure. But she lived a good life. She uh, lived, she's 88 years old now. But my friend said she's been suffering for almost 20 years. It's finally, it's over with. But keep praying for my friend. Her name is Soyla Herman. And she's here in the United States, and she is one of my uh, co-prayer warriors. We team up with a Filipino uh, prayer meeting every once a month. So, uh, things that needs to do when your loved ones pass away in the Philippines. But one of our uh, culture, it's our culture to uh, bury our own dead family. So if your mom or dad or sisters or brothers pass away, it's our Filipino culture that you have to be there for the funeral just to you know respect for the last days of their life I mean the last days that you can see them face to face so my friend is uh, trying to think what she need to do if if she gonna go home or she just gonna send money so it's my idea that if you have problem with financial uh, the best thing you have to do is it's my opinion is just send money so they can use that for you know for funeral or for uh, uh, buying things like families needing something to eat families needing to feed those people that coming to visit the body in the funeral or in your home so, uh, she asked me if she can go home and her husband is okay with it. And she said, I can go home, but I just went home two months ago to see her in ICU. 
and now I don't have enough money to buy my plane ticket. But she said, my husband said, it's okay. We can earn money. We can use credit card to borrow it. But think about it. If you go home and see that body, there's nothing you can do with that body anymore. Yes, it is a culture that uh, we have to bury our own uh, family, but it's also uh, wise things to do and wise things to make decision is why you spend money on the plane ticket which you don't have that money but it's it's for me so it's up to you to judge me you can leave me a message or comments what you think of Filipino way or American way okay money is a problem do I have to go home or do I just have to stay and send money to the Philippines? Well, it's up to it's up to you, it's up to her to decide. Uh, but for me is being practical, I uh, saw her already last two months ago and you done everything you can do and you come back to the United States and then two months after she passed away and you want to go back home again with the same like financial problem but it's up to her and it's up to you okay second thing we know it's a culture in the Philippines and we know that we have to be there but we also know our financial our body sometimes traveling in the Philippines it takes at least 30 38 hours for me because I have to uh, travel to Texas three hours to the airport to Houston to Houston to uh, where I go to Houston to to England is 12 hours and then uh, England to Singapore is uh, 14 hours and then Singapore to Manila is four hours and then Manila Airport to uh, to my dad's place it takes nine hours for a bus so count all those hours it's really hard but it's worth it to see the family but this time if I am I'd rather spend time with my family when they are alive when they are living my friend, she go home every year to spend time with her mom for at least two months because she had like two months vacation every year. But for me, as I work in a uh, healthcare, I don't have that much time to go home. They only give me like for courtesy, they only give me like five weeks because I want to spend time with my dad, with my daddy's uh, anyway is getting getting old and I'm getting old too but anyway there is a lot of question as we as far away from our family as we work overseas or married overseas and stay in overseas and we don't see the family much it's kind of hard when you don't see your family and it's hard for you as, you know, you 
as a child and as a parent, it's really hard to be separated for the family. For we as a Filipino, we love family, we love each other. Uh, no matter what, we still stick together and, you know, we do things together. But uh, I just want to make this video for everyone as my co-Filipinos, overseas workers, all over the world that we have to be considerate we have to consider things that we have to prioritize so I hope that you will understand and I pray for the family for my friends family that may the God of comfort comfort be upon them always